Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's session we will see how to deploy the static website by using S3 bucket and cloud CloudFront CDN service and we can then map the DNS entry in Route 53. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. So basically we uh, we have also one options like uh, store the content in the S3 bucket and make the content public or there and use it but that is a not a feasible option if, if you are working uh, you know working as a production environment so that is not a secure and feasible way so what will have what we can use then we can use s3 bucket to sto store the data whatever data you know images files text uh, text files or any video files okay so s3 bucket is basically uh, in short we will co cover in the details in the uh, separate session for the s3 bucket okay but now just just to understand s3 bucket is basically the storage service inside the aws services okay we can store any amount of data any file format in the s3 bucket okay it's a similar you can consider uh, you know the google drive basically okay just for example to understand so it's the storage service okay cloudfront cloudfront is basically you know the cdn services that is we can normally say the content delivery network uh, we use CDN service, CloudFront service basically to speed up the our websites. Okay, if we are running the uh, business over the globe and we our website hosted inside the India or any specific country. Okay, so uh, what will happen if suppose our website hosted in the uh, India Mumbai region and the user who are trying to access the app websites from the Australia or Europe sites. Okay, so what will happen? It will take uh, much time to load the websites. Okay, the performance might get delay. Okay due to uh, network latency so if you use cloudfront over there on the top of app uh, websites okay so it will uh, store the uh, basically cache the data on the different edge servers okay edge server is basically the sev caching services for the cdn <clears throat> so it will uh, cache the data over there and then when we when user first time uh, second time or after a number of times he try to access the website he will get much faster uh, response okay on the website because of the edge servers cloudfront service basically okay so in this session we will use host website uh, in static uh, website in the uh, s3 bucket and we use cloudfront okay to uh, <clears throat> serve, the serve the traffic and we make the dns entry in route 53 okay so uh, another way i was saying uh, about if suppose we directly host the website by using S3 bucket, okay, and we make the DNS entry uh, directly. So, uh, so in that situation, we will make our bucket policy to public one. It's it will accessible over the globe, okay. So, so that is not a feasible way uh, in the production environments. So, what we uh, what we can do is we can just host our website by using S3 bucket, but we will allow get get object access or pub, uh, uh, read a object can be read only through the cloud cloud front okay so if any user hit this domain app.awsguruji.net so it will route through the cloud front uh, cloud front only okay and cloud front will access the bucket data okay not the direct one okay so we will uh, in this in this today's session we will see how uh, as a, you know as you are the devops engineer how you, how you can write the cdk code by using visual studio okay then by using cdk commands cdk deploy we will deploy the s3 bucket cloud front service then we will make a dns entry in route 53 okay and we are going to in this session we are uh, going to completely deploy through the cdk code we are not any touching any you know or any making the entry or uploading the files through the manual way okay we will completely doing through the cdk code okay CDK code, code will help us to deploy the data inside the bucket. Okay, we we, are, we will not uh, upload any data manually. Okay, so let's see how to write the code and how to deploy it. Okay, so I am just refreshing the session so you can just see the screen. As of now, I have only two S3 bucket. Okay, and and i don't have any cloud front service here okay and if you look at the dns entry there is just the four entries that is, that is a by default okay 
so let's see uh, understand the cdk code okay so i have created you know the repository with the name website hosting with the cs3 and cloudfront okay so i hope you gone through the my first introduction video videos introduction and the project setup videos so in that uh, session i have covered the all the folder structure what folder structure what we can use okay so if you haven't gone through so i will definitely add a link in the description box okay so you should first go with the, that uh, folder structure and the introduction part then you will understand the cdk pattern okay so now uh, <clears throat> inside the leaf folder i have created the folder data okay for the uh, s3 bucket deployment so i am just basically pushing the sample html code over over there okay and one image okay so i have only this uh, two sample files for the deployment for the static website okay and if you look at the cdk code so let me help you to understand so we have uh, import the packages here okay then we have uh, given the class name here okay so here you can see the cdk code for the creation of the s3 bucket basically and i have given the bucket name test s3 bucket hosting hyphen cdn okay so make sure bucket should be unique and the lower case okay otherwise uh, it will not support and the remove policy cdk destroy okay basically what will happen if i deploy this environment and then i will just run the command like cdk destroy okay then in that situation this bucket will also destroy okay but just make sure if you are working as a production system then you should not uh, destroy it okay you can just write the written here okay so in production system if you bucket basically bucket will not delete and the data will remain safe okay just for the demo purpose i am just destroying it okay because i don't want to keep running data store okay in the bucket it will uh, charge me some cost okay for the data st uh, storage cost okay so just make sure that in the production you will you should select the return okay now coming to the uh, second part deploy the bucket basically okay deploy the data into the s3 bucket so i just given the options here so i have just add the path data as uh, you can see in the, inside the lib folder so you can add the any folder structure here if you want according to your requirements okay i am just giving the data folder name here okay so this way you can just uh, write the cdk code to deploy any data into the bucket directly okay you just you don't need to do manually upload the data and okay just copy so you can just add the code cdk code this way you can so for the deployment okay bucket variable i am using here so i am just using the this bucket okay for the this data deployment okay so next next thing we need uh, for the cloud for cloud front cdn service basically we need a one ssl certificate to add a additional domain okay and that domain required a certificate and that certificate should be created in north virginia uh, north virginia region basically by default okay this certificate is just for the cdn service okay not for the your load balancer or something this is just for the domain that you, we are using additional for the cloud front okay we will see when we deploy the cdk code okay so you can just understand better way so coming down so here the cdk code for the basically create the uh, cdk distributions okay uh, cdn distribution okay sorry so here i am just uh, giving the additional domain names here app.awsguruji.net so this certificate will use for this domain okay so i have uh, generated this certificate free certificate from the S S S aws acm service okay to support this domain name okay so and and the um, origin uh, there are multiple origins supported by you know distributions you can attach your load balancer okay s3 bucket so i am i am using here the s3 bucket variables to as a origin okay the endpoint basically in the load balancer language we can say as it's a target one okay then coming down i am just writing the cdk code for here uh, to fetch the 
hosted zone records here uh, hosted zone basically hosted zone id and we need to replace our domain name if you are using <coughs> any different domain name then you can just replace here okay so it will automatically ho fetch the hosted zone id over there okay and then uh, <coughs> according to your hosted zone it will create a dns entry okay app dot whatever your domain name okay app dot aws guruji dot net okay so this is the sample code basically very simple so this way you can write down the your cdk code to deploy the your static website on the s3 bucket by using cdk okay so let's uh, deploy this so just make sure when you are <coughs> making all the changes okay you just need to first run the command npm install okay to install the packages and dependencies dependency package basically once i have already installed so it's uh, up to date okay then you can just simply run the command cdk deploy i am just adding the additional para parameter like require approval equal to never okay so it will basically it will not ask me to type the yes for the confirmation okay it will automatically take as a approval and it will process further okay so it will take a little bit time because cdn uh, creation takes some time okay so i will pause the video here and we'll come back so our stack has been successfully deployed you can see the status here okay if you can just stay, uh, check the status you can see the creation of the creation process is completed okay now let's go to the aws console and verify okay the stack has been properly deployed or not okay so we are in the aws console now okay let's refresh the page you can see the bucket has been successfully created with the test hyphen s3 hyphen bucket hosting cdn okay and if you look at the cdn it also has been created properly okay you can see the status enabled okay and it's also attached the additional domain name that is that we want okay app dot aws guruji dot net okay and also it that pointing should be happen you can see app dot aws guruji dot net okay that is pointed to the cdn basically cdn id you can endpoint you can see the value fxc let's verify it okay okay fxc okay so everything has been deployed properly now let's just verify again with the s3 bucket data that we we you know automatically deployed just go to the bucket and just refresh as you can see the data also has been deployed properly okay we haven't done anything manually here okay we completely uh, write down the cdk code by to create the s3 bucket the data deployment in, inside the s3 bucket okay then creation of the cloud front here okay then make a dns entry in route 53 service service okay for the dns entry so now let's verify the url that is working fine or not okay let's copy the url app.awsguruji.net and just hit in the browser okay so default value uh, will not work here because we need to add the the actual page here okay so we have index.html page here as you can see the page has been working properly okay and we have another page tastes.png file okay you can see <clears throat> the images and the text uh, html pages are working properly okay you can verify the certificate here okay as we imported here if you want to verify the certificate you can just go to the acm service also we can verify from the CD, cdn service you can just scroll down and if you look at the alternative domain names here okay we can see the certificate here okay <clears throat> just click on that it will route in the north virginia region because that uh, certificate is used for cdn only okay you can see we uh, raise the certificate for wildcard wildcard okay so it will support any subdomains here 
so let's verify the bucket policy here okay because we haven't done anything uh, manually instead of you know <clears throat> giving the access to whole world it just grant the access only for the cdn okay cloud front so th this way you can uh, securely host your website by using you no know, s3 bucket and cloud front okay and uh, don't worry about the cdk code as uh, i already uh, announced that i have uh, github projects created okay so i will definitely add this link in the description box <clears throat> so don't worry on that so just visit that um, url and the repository name is website hosting with the s3 and cloud front okay so inside that you can find the cdk code okay so we can just if you want to do practice on your own machine we can simply uh, take a git clone a git clone and uh, change according to your requirements and you can try to deploy uh, into the, your aws account and it will definitely work okay if you have any questions you can definitely use the comment box to comment your questions okay yeah that's all for the today's session so we will see in the uh, next uh, helpful session okay for the cdk thank you